or welcome if you're new. If you're new, subscribe. Say hi in the comments to my old subscribers. They're not even old. I just started this channel like five days ago. Today we're doing my eyebrow tutorial and I think they turned out pretty nice, but you let me know what you think. If you're already interested in my eyelashes, they're from my website, which is in the description box. And they're in the style Biggie, and they're the thickest ones on the website. So, copy yours. I'm pretty sure I only have like two pairs of these left, so yeah. Cop them while you can, cop them while you can. All I'm gonna be doing today is my eyebrow routine. I'm gonna show you guys what goes into it, what products I use, and um, there is no voiceover today. I will be talking straight to you if you're interested in how to get your eyebrows like this or how to do eyebrows period and you're new to eyebrows this is extremely beginner friendly and just continue to watch my video I will see you guys at the end of this video I guess and in my next video which I don't know when it's gonna be I think I want my hair pink so probably on that but I'll see you guys in my next video bye have a great day love you and bye so I have you guys in really close so you can just see how I do them exactly so we're going to start with my Hard Candy Longwear Primer that I always use. When I am just doing my eyebrows, I just dab it on top. That's how I would do it if I was just doing my eyebrows. And I'm about to prime my, I'm going to go ahead and prime my whole face real quick. Okay, so after that we're taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. I'm running low. But uh, we're just gonna take this and get ready to do my eyebrows. I use this brush. Actually, I alternate. Just the one rule is that it needs to be a flat brush to get like that perfect um, sharp line that you're looking for. Right now, I'm using this one from, I'm pretty sure it's BH Cosmetics, but this baby one, this is what we're using today. You can see the hairs are kind of frayed on the side. You don't want that. So I'm just using this fully. It came with this brush kit I got on Amazon. I highly recommend getting your brushes off of Amazon if you're just starting because they're cheap and you get a bunch in a pack. And I even bought one the other day. It was another day. It was a, a couple months ago I bought one and it came with the um, silicone brush scrubber. You can scrub your brushes on while you're cleaning them. Highly recommend. But we're just going to go ahead and brush them into place. If you're thinking about, um, if you're watching this because you're like thinking about starting to do your eyebrows on a daily basis i recommend um i recommend keeping your eyebrows done okay so this is it brush them into place then we're going to take our small brush whatever brush you're using and if you have a new dip brow you do not need a lot at all like literally tap your brush in here one time and you'll have enough for the whole eyebrow but mine is kind of dried out so i'm just gonna ooh, it's very dry Mine is kind of drying out and then um, you take the cap and you just like brush off the excess and then your brush becomes like you see the frayed hairs are kind of gone it becomes like pointed from the product being on it then I start on the top of my eyebrow like halfway back from the front after that I just go into the ends continuing that you want to follow the same shape as your natural eyebrow. I kind of like my eyebrows darker than this now because um, when I wear my wigs and stuff, the hair is like black. So I think I'm gonna go get like the ebony color. This is dark brown. Yeah, I need ebony. I used to use ebony. This isn't for those like bold, defined Instagram brows. Use the same technique, but if you want those type of brows, you need a darker color than your natural brow color. So I like kind of start filling in gaps. I go ahead and draw a line on the bottom right here. And then I like to, I don't really have eyebrow hair under here. So what I do is um, take it and I just lower the arch by dragging it across. So we finished like the main part. Then you go to the front and you just wanna, don't add any more product on this part. Like just keep your brush um, the same amount of product as it already had on it and you just go ahead and add some color. Don't go all the way to the front ever, that's horrible. And then this is when I really start doing the bottom because I go further on the bottom than I do on the top and I start up here. 
and then we're just dragging it back to define the line that we already had. Never go all the way to the front like I said because we're going to go back in with um, the spoolie and we're going to fade it into like an ombre brow. I'm just blending my eyebrows more. I hate seeing like lines in my brows. I'm really particular about that. They're not going to look like how you want them to look at this step but <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do my other brow off camera and then I'll be back and show you guys what really makes your eyebrows pop. So now my eyebrows are all filled in. So my favorite part is adding the concealer. As always, I use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fun. If you made any mistakes before this or prior to this part, do not worry because this will fix it. Well, it depends on what kind of mistake you made. This is a really, really important step. Go start in the beginning. I start ahead of my brow and then I just drag it back. It's better to be too far away from the eyebrow than too close because you could accidentally get concealer in your because you can accidentally get concealer in your eyebrow if you're too close. I'd rather start down here like that if you're new and then kind of like work your way towards your eyebrow. Like that kind of. So I'd rather do that than accidentally make my eyebrows too skinny. So there's a tip for you people that are new to eyebrows. And then I'm just going to do the top the exact same way. And you can also overline the top and get closer. And then just come down and meet the other end of the concealer. Also, we hate this unibrow look, so just cut your eyebrow off. It's not gonna look like a square, I promise, when we blend it. Cut it off further than the actual eyebrow stops, like this one stops back here, so I wouldn't draw a line right there because then you have a square eyebrow, but I draw a line right here because I'm so afraid of having that unibrow look. We're just gonna blend out the concealer that put around the eyebrow. Any brush will do, I change brushes like every day. So here's a fluffy brush, here's an example. It's fluffy. <laughs> like a haze of concealer right here that is not cute blend that out if you're not planning to add like concealer or foundation on the rest of your face blend that out but for me I'm gonna be adding I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup so I don't really have to get rid of it it'll be covered up in about 10 minutes so and then this is important you can see I blended it a little bit and now I have square eyebrows this is not cute, y'all. I promise you this is not cute. You can see my eyebrows are also too close. So we're just gonna blend out this middle part into the eyebrow. Do not be scared to touch the eyebrow with the concealer. Just don't add any more product. And this is pretty much what you get. You can see it's fading. You just really don't want that square in the front of your eyebrows. But you also don't want that line going across. So I think my technique is the best because it's the best in that it won't allow you to have either of those things if you blend properly. And then I consider this part of my eyebrow routine. I take concealer and I put it on my eyelid. I'm just adding more because it wasn't as bright as I wanted it. This is how I love my eyelids to look because I do have dark circles, I mean obviously, but it just transforms me. <laughs> so there is that. I'm going to go ahead and set it with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, the same setting powder I always use in my tutorials. Then we're just going to set the other eyelid. If you see it crease in between setting, please blend it because the setting powder isn't going to fix that crease. So there's that. 
then we're just gonna dust it off and I'm gonna do all my makeup and I'll be back to show you guys the finished result of how my eyebrows look with my makeup on. Okay, so I'm back. This is how my eyebrows look once I finish the rest of my makeup. Um, if you wanna know how I did this makeup, you can go watch my other video, my everyday makeup routine. The only difference is these lashes are my lashes in the style Bicky, and in the other one I believe I used New Girl. So yeah, if you're interested, link in the description. Link in the description. And yes. I think that's all for today guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of these lashes because the last time I wore them was with that black smoky eye. And you couldn't really see them, but now that I have them on, they're kind of cute. Check out the website. Whatever, whatever. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.